minutes are tapped up and let's play desync. If you missed it, there's a little seizure warning there, so be aware of that. This is another one by Adult Swim Games. A review cap is getting what's provided by the publisher. Adult Swim, I've mentioned this a few times, but Adult Swim's started publishing some pretty cool stuff. Um, they did, they've been publishing cool stuff for a while. They used to publish f cool Flash games, um, but now they're doing more traditional indie games. So I really like the, ah, lots of chromatic aberration. That's FPS limit. Let's bring that to 60, draw distance. Yeah. Um, Jelly sync reduction, resync, yes. Um, <laughs> is there a way to turn off chromatic aberration, I wonder? I won't do it. Wait, interlacing reduction. I wonder if that's... Just call it chromatic aberration if you... Like, I think some games call it color separation. I don't know if interlacing reduction is that. Like... I can't tell because the aberration goes away sometimes. Okay, no, I don't think that's it. No, it may just not be possible. Mutator. Oh, there's mutators? Um, okay, so what this game is, I guess I should mention that. Um, sorry, I, just, I like a good options menu sometimes, you know? This game is like a high score focused um, first person shooter. Mouse and keyboard. Parky, please. Yes. What's going on? Um, and I really love the aesthetic, color separation aside. Um, with my ni ninth mind, some nice bubbly sounds in my ear holes. I always enjoy that. I resurrect my first. Well, I've got some stuff going on, some brain stuff. One of my favorite varieties of stuff. Dance slow to the music. Well. We're all about slow things, apparently. Especially talking slow. Of my soul made new. Getting very dramatic here. I don't know exactly what to expect gameplay-wise, but it sounded really cool. I'm, I'm late to this as usual. But hey. I don't do this full-time. I would love to do this full-time, but I don't. So, coverage is entirely at my own ability. Wish I could cover things more, you know, earlier. It is my passion, but hey. Sometimes stable job beats passion. Be nice if stable job and passion were the same thing. But sometimes, sometimes it's not. Up, oh, link network, establishing user intrusion, descent until the structure, reboot and initializing. Wait, user input, okay. Sir tap tap fragments. All right, so I don't know exactly how this works, but I'm sure I will find out soon. Rival users. Is this teleport thing? Oh, it's an elevator. So I think it gives you like a sure Shinjiku. And counter necropolis, select zone, right click. Uh sure. See it's very high score focused and I guess it gives you like a little rival. I like it when games do that. Um crap. I can't think of I think Geometry Wars 3 does a pretty good job at that, but unfortunately I got it, I got the PS Plus version for Vita, and I'd, I'd really rather play it with a controller. I guess I could play it on PS TV, but I never really got around to it. Alright, gun. I have gun. It's finally a video game. Avoidance! Left shift while moving to dash in the direction to avoid enemy attacks. Oh, interesting. You have like a run. Gauge. It's like almost like uh, dashing in uh, Metroid Prime. It's so weird that like I really Metroid Prime really does boss battles so well, and it's like one, two, three. Change weapons. All right. Repair current weapon with energy drops from enemies. All right. So I guess it's you know reload. Come to think of it, Parky, please get down. Um, attack sequences, attack rush, combine various movements and attacks to execute sequences on enemies. Right, sequences will increase your movement and dash recharge speed. I figured there would be some method. You know, it's a high score game. There's got to be some quirk to the gameplay. What is this? Is this fragments? Uh, that was a shard fragment. Okay. What was I saying about Metroid Prime? Oh yeah, the the boss battles in Metroid Prime are really great in, in no small part because of the ability to circle strafe and dodge while keeping fire on an enemy. 
and yeah, I do think this dodge is kind of all right. The, the lock-on is a big part of that, though, because, like, it lets you keep aim without um, sacrificing ability to dodge. You know, it lets you focus on kind of both at once. Huh? Evade new enemy attack. Enemy damage. Oh. Perky! Seriously! I learned a new attack. Oh, okay, I see. So, like, you, you learn new ways to uh, get high scores, and it... Almost over dramatizes that. All right, so it's it's we ah whoa 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 whoa, it's weirding my brain out that the red things floating in midair are in fact good things to be absorbed into my meat, my flesh meat. Up, oh! rest in peace, my flesh meat. I see those in my brain. It's like oh no, don't 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 touch that. But then it is good, and it's like points. I'm not sure if that's points or ammo or what that is exactly. Oh, no! Is that my meat flesh? My meat flesh is the meter on the uh, bottom right there. Let's see, yeah, probably just standard old uh, kill everything to proceed going on now. Alright, so these guys are a bit tougher. Evader. Alright, yeah, I figured it wouldn't do the- whoa. Hello! What was that? Overkills. You have overkilled an enemy. You can overkill further enemies by inflicting intense damage in a short amount of time. Overkilled enemies drop health cubes. Oh, cool. Overkill is always a fun mechanic. Desync. Accuracy. Oh, that's like your score for this, like, segment. Okay. New gun! What is this? Terra Blaster. Scatter Blast. Shuriken Artifice. Oh, there's Secondary Fire! Oh man, Secondary Fire is so underrated in like modern... I hate... That's one a aspect I really hate of the whole modern military shooter. Oh, it's a shotgun. Um, modern military shooter sort of thing. We lost alt fires! That was like... That was like such a great part of Unreal Tournament and uh, just arena shooters of that general time. It was... Ow. Great stuff. Okay, I think that meter is overkill. So when you hit, like, when you get like four meters filled. Oh wait, maybe, no, I think when that goes red maybe? Or maybe that's just their health. Yeah, that's just their health, Never mind. Okay, so that's nice to know at least though. Wait, ow, what? Ah, so those guys really hurt. Beating me to death in sync. Okay, that's spikes. I just had to confirm. I wasn't sure if that was spikes. You know, sometimes you never know. You never know. It could be delicious candy in the shape of spikes. It was pink. Pink looks delicious. So I had to just jam my face hole right up in there. You know, you nobody could blame me. Oh, you're alive. I didn't think you would drop an item. If you was alive, whoa, 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 whoa. Who said you could spawn into an attack animation? Mercy. <laughs> Headshot kill. Huh. Oh, I guess headshot would be a pretty obvious one to go for, huh? Alright. Let's not be in a corner. I don't like being in a corner. Nobody puts Tappy in a corner. Alright, I like this shotgun. This is very good for these guys. Oh, it, they stagger! I mean, I guess I noticed that when I did the mercy kill, right? Obliterator. What was that? Desync Val 0 out of 0. I don't know what that means exactly. I'm liking this, though. I don't... I like that it teaches you the fancy kills. Like, it, I do like the... It felt a little weird at first. But it is nice to have it, like, stop and be like, Hey, you just did a cool thing. And it's it allows it... It kind of lets the game be its own tutorial. Because, like, it gives you the just-in-time... I like when games do that. When they give you just-in-time, Hey, this is how you do a thing. Or this is how you did a thing, in this case. And, uh... These coin, these token things look like enemies to me. It's weirding me out. Oh gosh. Oh no! They lead your shots! Oh, you clever sons of bitches. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying things. I forget them now. What the? Oh, I ran out of ammo. Can I reload? Yes. Okay. I like the just-in-time tutorial kind of thing. That's that's what that's all I was trying to say there. Oh. Okay, the ninjas are tricky, which 
is exactly what one should expect a uh, ninja to be. Oh, spike. Why, why do I keep walking directly into the spikes? It's it's my people. I must join my people. As a spike ball, I must touch the spikes. It's natural. I got some shards, I think. I don't understand exactly. Enemy sinks. An enemy with a sink is about to spawn in. Sinked enemies are stronger. I have various upgrades. Watch for the purple screen indicator for these enemies. Okay. Awaiting user input. Okay. Space is what it means when it says that. Okay, so red enemies equal synced, and that they seem to have the same HP. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Obliterator. What was... It reconnects. Accuracy. Desync valve. 200. I, I don't know what that desync thing is. Oh no, there's two of those things now. Oh man, I wonder if... That's what I was just about to ask. If I could trick them into that. That's nice and satisfying. Okay. Oh, you gotta blast them into the spikes, I think. Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's still satisfying. I was wondering if you... Oh, should pay a little bit more attention. Alright, come here. Come closer. Okay. They're ninjas, so they do not just mindlessly approach. nice as it would be. For the I'm not sure how I feel about them spawning in with, like, death. I guess it's kind of like getting telefragged, but... Hmm. I don't know. It's a little frustrating. I'm not, like, it's not, I'm, you know, I'm not about to rage quit, but I don't know how I feel about that yet. Oh, you can shoot those down. <laughs> that piercing is... That's a lot more fun than I thought it would be for something that... Like, I think they gotta be already be dead, basically. Or at least, you gotta be knocking them back. <laughs> okay, that one did extra damage. Because those guys take more than one hit. Okay, okay, no! No! You die real fast. <sighs> Makes sense, though. It's not a survive game, it's a, you know, score well game. And you know, you to score the best, you just got you gotta survive, of course. But uh you know, it's not half-life. Where you're gonna expect to survive quite a lot of damage if you have full HP. Attack. I think your attack power I think as you make combos you do more damage. Like your attack meter gets filled a little bit. Yeah, I think you must deal the extra damage if you, like, keep it up in a chain. At least that's what I'm assuming. Don't sue me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my horrible lies! Wow, that guy did... That hurt a lot. That hurt my feels. My feelings are very... They're shattered. I'm suing for emotional trauma. Okay, I was wondering if the green one healed you. Speed shard progression one! I don't know what that means, but I got a I got a th achievement for it, so obviously it was great. Schema discovered. You discovered your first schema. Schemas can be initialized with the link network. Schemas will only save once you've completed the current level. Okay, what's a schema though? Sidearm schema. Core schema discovered. Does that mean I can get more guns? Maybe. I'm still learning. Data attack. Okay. Accuracy. Dangerous, debilitating, simplistic. Simplistic? Rude. Priority <laughs> debilitating. Uh, extra extension. I like things, I like when things give you little descriptors of your attitude. Like, that was one cool thing that Scott Pilgrim versus the world the game had. It gives you little descriptions like, uh, pacifist if you got the least kills. Um, I can't remember them exactly, but it gives you fun little descriptions. I think Ratchet and Clank All for One did. It's extra fun for, like, a team, like a cooperative thing, because, like, it gives, <laughs> it gives you something to laugh about in between rounds. That's right, Parker. We got a B! Passing grade. Acceptable. So I don't know what the schema thing is, but I'm assuming that we can, we're gonna find out real soon. 
Rival users. We beat our rival user. I have no idea who that is. I don't think that's a friend of mine. But you never know, because it's Steam. Oh, Strength Sync discovered. Um, what was I saying? Oh, what are you? Are you, are you interface elements? Sidearm terminal, visit the sidearm an upgrade, okay. Yeah, that's what the scheme of things were. I like when games progressively unlock the UI and stuff instead of like, like, I like when it feels more natural like this. Like this feels pretty natural instead of like just giving me a massive tutorial. Uh, use the core terminal, core bonus abilities. So that's like perks basically, I'm assuming. What do you mean? All right, right click. So weird, initialize. Uh, usage cost. Uh, sure. How do I know what cost I have? I only have one thing to use, so I assume I can just use it. Sidearm. What do we got? Oh, so you can unlock more slots, I'm guessing. Blocking, block enemy attacks, Aegis equip. Block 20 attacks to equip. Oh, I see. Alright then. Well, this is desync, and I'll probably, I'll give it at least one more spin, but, uh, we're gonna call it a video here. This, I'm, I'm really liking this. Um, it's got a bit of that arena shooter feel, but, but single player focused instead of, you know, it's like little mini combat arenas instead of a uh, big multiplayer event. But it's got that competitive aspect too with the scoring, which you don't really see many first person shooters go for the score angle, so that's interesting. I'm not usually the hugest fan of score stuff, but player readout. Gen. Strength sync there, it's just, it's just random coolio information. So I assume I unlocked a second level. Yep, encounter approach. All right, well, next time we'll check out the approach.